Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the Corona Scanner. Okay, our right, plans first. 10,000, not 10,000. And move to the center of the viewport. Good to go. Another teapot. I'm gonna roll outside. So, to duplicate from one single object to hundreds or thousand copies, we're gonna use Corona Scatter. It's very useful, especially in scatter the forest or a rust surface. So, create a Corona Scatter and in the Modify tab, we're gonna select this blend as distribution object and the teapot as instant object immediately as you can see we have it down below we have something else to take care mm. viewport display white box as you can see right here the dot which i very rarely use unless the model is too heavy the box full, yeah, full mess. Looks disgusting. And the point clouds. But in this case, uh, because the model is too simple, I'm gonna use full. And above scattering, this limit is control the maximum copies. So for example, one, it's only one, two, ten, and the transformation. I often use this number and this number, this one. So this is um, 359 degrees. I always use this number and the scale maybe from 100 to 150 so as you can see it immediately and automatically rotate the t parts randomly and scale it randomly above we have a avoid collision what is it so by checking this one uh, we let Corona know that we don't want every object touch each other and we can decrease this number depends on situation but now let's keep it 100 for example I may increase up to 100 but if I increase it more This number become useless because we already check this avoid collision. So, to let you understand clearer about the Corona scatter, we jump to another example. Okay, let's take a look at this picture. Right here, we have two main things. The first one is this wall. Um, this work and the second thing is this roof of bamboo many bamboo were scattered from one single suit bamboo model and the most interesting the most beautiful thing in this photo is when I let the sunshine go through the leaves we got something is attract my eyes immediately is double light this is called double light i think it's happened to everybody because it's so beautiful i'm gonna show you how to do this first from the front view i'm gonna draw a plan 
let's say 30 meters by 30 meters and move it up okay, something like this and then create another one where is my okay clear create another one okay uh, then I'm gonna import an external model the bamboo model from outside okay where is it move it a bit closer right here I already prepare a box which contain the, uh, the the material for the wall to save time so aside to this one okay good to go then we a a corona scatter and select this one let me close on Select this one as distribute on object and the bamboo model as instant object. So immediately, as you can see, we have it's a lot of copies. So I'm sorry, close on. In the scattering, try to limit the number by checking avoid collision. And down below, transformation, this one. 359 and the scale from let's say from 80% to 120 kind of okay let me run a test to see how I'm gonna create a Corona Sun perhaps a bit lower and by the way, at Corona Sky Environment and in the camera, always highlight compress should be 99. Compress should be 4. I'm gonna override a legacy material to the whole scene. Good to go. And then choose a camera. Front view. Quite difficult to see so close so in the viewport display jump to point cloud and increase this point up to 50% good to go maybe too empty so Decrease this number down to 50%. See how. Too bright. <laughs> Reduce this one down to negative 2. And I may zoom in a bit more. Yep, we got it. Beautiful dapper light. But I think to increase the number of bamboo. Beautiful, beautiful. So, create a corona camera from here and activate the depth of field. I may close all. Okay. Reduce this one to 0 0.5. Set focus to the wall. 
I'm good to go. So I may turn off the override. Okay. I may need more bamboos. By moving this surface, we can move the scatter along with. But if it too much, we kind of lost the depth of field. I'm sorry, lost the depth of line. Perhaps increase this one even more. Okay, more or less. Ah, we can see one mistake right here. This one, not so good. Beautiful. I think that's okay. Anyways, um, all the rest of story is spending time to move, to shift, and to rotate, increase the screen number, try to find the best position, the best number for your purpose. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it here and increase the, I mean, improve the graphic for example my loot my precious loot so eight contract should be six looks better vignette one of course Set focus to the world, and I may increase this one. This looks unreasonable. One point six. Sharpen. Even more sharper. Okay, looks pretty cool. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you find something useful in this video. And see you until the next time. Take care.